Step into the enchanting realm of Harry Potter University, where we embark on a poignant journey today. Prepare to explore the most heart-wrenching departures within the entire franchise, forever etched in the hearts of fans. For those who cherished the written tales, the characters' fates were no secret, yet witnessing their demise on the grand silver screen remained an agonizing experience. Conversely, those who ventured into the movies unprepared were left reeling from the shocking blows of these losses. Regardless of prior knowledge, the grief that followed their passing was indescribable, immobilizing even the strongest spirits. Join us as we delve into the deaths of these nine devastating farewells. In the midst of a climactic battle of Hogwarts, tragedy struck as Remus Lupin and Nymphador Tonks met their untimely demise. Remus, the resilient werewolf, first encountered in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and Nymphadora, the captivating metamorph Magus introduced in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, captured the hearts of fans worldwide. Remus, burdened with the curse of lycanthropy, faced a monthly transformation into a werewolf since his youth. Nevertheless, he emerged as a revered member of the Order of the Phoenix, assuming the role of a guiding figure for Harry. Nymphadora, gifted with the ability to alter her appearance at will, served as both an auror for the Ministry of Magic and a steadfast member of the Order. In the poignant chapter of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, the Battle of Hogwarts claimed their lives, leaving their infant son, Teddy Lupin, an orphan. Though their deaths were not explicitly depicted on screen, the heart-rending sight of their lifeless forms, hands outstretched toward one another, forever etched in the minds of fans, served as a poignant reminder of the profound loss suffered in that harrowing moment. Prepare to be touched by another heart-wrenching loss within the series, a loss that shattered our hearts, the demise of Hedwig, the epitome of loyalty in avian form. Since the day Hagrid accompanied Harry on his inaugural journey to acquire his school supplies, Hedwig stood faithfully by his side. Their connection formed an unbreakable bond from the very start. Tragically, during the perilous battle of the Seven Potters, Hedwig valiantly sacrificed herself while shielding Harry from harm's way. As Deathly Hallows Part 1 unfolded, witnessing Hedwig's life extinguished struck a chord deep within our souls. The pain etched upon Harry's visage as he beheld Hedwig's lifeless descent from the sky mirrored the anguish felt by fans worldwide. The initial 20 minutes of this film were sufficient to plunge us into an abyss of mourning that persisted throughout its entirety. Another devastating loss that weighs heavily on our hearts, the tragic death of Cedric Diggory, an unforgettable character in our story. Hailing from the esteemed house of Hufflepuff, Cedric, the son of Amos Diggory, stood as a shining example of academic excellence and prowess on the Quidditch field. Although his presence in the films was brief, his untimely passing left an indelible mark on the hearts of fans. Fate dealt a cruel hand as Cedric found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time, unwittingly following Harry through a port key during the treacherous Triwizard Tournament. Astonishingly, both Harry and Cedric emerged as champions, only to fall into a meticulously set trap. The gut-wrenching aspect of Cedric's demise lies in its brutal swiftness. Barely a minute after their arrival, Peter Pettigrew emerged, bearing the embodiment of evil himself, Lord Voldemort, who callously referred to Cedric as a spare, mercilessly diminishing his worth in his final moments. Without a shred of hesitation, Pettigrew unleashed the deadly killing curse of Vada Kedavra, snuffing out Cedric's life in an instant. The breakneck speed at which it unfolded, coupled with his father's heart-wrenching reaction back at Hogwarts, rendered this character's death hauntingly difficult to overcome. Now we come to a pivotal moment of this list, the heart-rending demise of Severus Snape, the steam teacher at Hogwarts. Under Voldemort's command, Snape fell victim to Nagini's lethal strike, driven by the belief that Snape possessed the true ownership of the Elder Wand. As a Slytherin student, Snape's time at Hogwarts was marred by unrequited love for Lily Evans and relentless bullying from James Potter, which partly explained his often frosty demeanor towards Harry. Yet, Snape swiftly ascended as a beloved character within the franchise, commencing his journey as the potions professor and later assuming the role of Defense Against the Dark Arts instructor. Throughout the movies, he appeared as the quintessential antagonist, seemingly causing chaos for Harry. However, unbeknownst to many, Snape's true allegiance was to the Order of the Phoenix, covertly working as a double agent while remaining one of Voldemort's most trusted Death Eaters. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, the trio could only bear witness to the unfolding tragedy, unable to intervene. From Snape's tearful plea to Harry, urging him to collect his memories to the revelation of his true intentions, his death remains a profound loss mourned by fans to this day. Immersed in a tale of profound sorrow, we recount the heart-wrenching demise of Albus Dumbledore, the revered headmaster of Hogwarts. With unwavering dedication, he devoted his life to the school, 
first as a professor and later as its esteemed leader. During Voldemort's initial rise to power, Dumbledore took the helm in forming the Courageous Order of the Phoenix, instilling fear in even the heart of the Dark Lord himself. A special bond blossomed between Dumbledore and Harry during the young wizard's time at Hogwarts, as the wise headmaster guided him on the path to ultimate victory over Voldemort. However, the unthinkable occurred when Snape, under orders, took Dumbledore's life within the Astronomy Tower. Already weakened by a curse inflicted by Marvel Ogon's ring, which harbored the Horcrux, Dumbledore knew his time was drawing near. Aware that Voldemort had assigned Draco Malfoy the task of killing him, Dumbledore orchestrated his own demise in collaboration with Snape, ensuring the Dark Lord's trust in his false allegiance to the Death Eaters. Beloved by the denizens of Hogwarts and revered throughout the Wizarding World, Dumbledore's loss struck Harry with profound anguish, yet another parental figure snatched away after enduring a lifetime of immeasurable sorrow. Talking about shattered familial bonds, we delve into the tragic fate of Sirius Black, one of Harry's cherished parental figures. Born into the esteemed pureblood Black family, Sirius, a proud Gryffindor, shared an unbreakable bond with James Potter, Harry's father. Despite being falsely imprisoned in Azkaban for the alleged murder of Peter Pettigrew when Harry was just an infant, Sirius emerged as Harry's godfather. As an unregistered anamagus, he ingenuously transformed into a majestic black dog to escape the clutches of Azkaban's despair. In a bid to earn Harry's trust, Sirius courageously unveiled the truth surrounding Pettigrew's treachery, the betrayal of the Potters, the framing of Sirius' heinous crimes, and Pettigrew's subsequent escape. Welcomed back into the folds of the Order of the Phoenix, Sirius was compelled to remain concealed from the rest of the wizarding world. During the cataclysmic battle within the Department of Mysteries, the valiant members of the Order fought fearlessly against Voldemort and his Death Eaters to protect Harry and his loyal friends. Tragically, in a confrontation with his cousin Bellatrix Lestrange, Sirius was struck by a curse and plummeted through the Enigmatic Veil, an archway serving as a gateway between life and death. As he vanished beyond its threshold, the world mourned the loss of Sirius Black. Harry's guttural reaction to Sirius' demise amplifies the death of this tragedy. Sirius was not only the closest semblance of family Harry possessed, but they had also dreamed of sharing a future together. Alas, due to Sirius' fugitive status preceding his untimely demise, their shared aspirations remained forever unrealized. Harry, burdened with a sense of guilt, blamed himself for Sirius' death, having been lured to the Department of Mysteries under false pretenses by Voldemort, ultimately leading to the confrontation where Sirius valiantly sought to rescue him alongside the Order of the Phoenix. Next is the tragic departure of Fred Weasley, a vibrant soul who met his fate during the harrowing Battle of Hogwarts. Renowned for their comedic prowess, the Weasley twins brought laughter and joy to all who crossed their path at Hogwarts. With their indomitable spirit, they never failed to find levity in the darkest of times. However, the twins chose to depart from Hogwarts prematurely, driven by their shared dream of establishing a mischievous haven, a joke shop in Diagon Alley. Bound together in an unbreakable bond, the loss of Fred in the midst of the Battle of Hogwarts reverberated with devastating intensity. Imagining George without his partner in crime was an unbearable thought, as the two were inseparable throughout their lives. Witnessing George's anguish as he crumbled, seeking solace in the embrace of Ron, shattered the hearts of all who bore witness. The sheer weight of grief intensified when Ron, too, knelt beside his fallen brother, succumbing to overwhelming sobs. The mere notion of George navigating life without his twin, carrying on alone in Weasley's wizard wheezes, served as a poignant reminder of the profound void left in his heart. The sorrow of that moment remains etched in our souls, capable of gripping us with the same crippling intensity it did upon its initial impact. Prepare to have your heart shattered for the last time as we recount the devastating death of Dobby, a courageous house elf. Initially employed by the Malfoy family, Dobby's eccentric methods served as his desperate attempts to warn Harry about the impending reopening of the Chamber of Secrets during his second year at Hogwarts. Harry's act of liberating Dobby from his servitude by presenting him with a sock forged an unexpected bond between them. When Dobby valiantly appeared to rescue Harry, along with the trio and Luna Lovegood, from the clutches of Malfoy Manor in the Half-Blood Prince, he proved instrumental to their escape. Tragically, as they apparated to safety, Bellatrix Lestrange hurled a lethal dagger, impaling Dobby. In his final moments, with unwavering loyalty, Dobby expressed his contentment in being with his dear friend, Harry Potter. Witnessing him breathe his last breath in Harry's embrace and reading the inscription on his tombstone, Here lies Dobby, a free elf, inflicted wounds upon our hearts that time will never fully heal. This poignant departure of a beloved character will forever linger in the hearts of fans, 
etching a profound ache that refuses to fade. As we conclude this journey through the most heart-wrenching departures in the world of Harry Potter, we thank you for joining us in this emotional exploration. Your support and engagement mean the world to us, so please remember to show your appreciation by hitting that like button and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. As we continue to delve into the magical realm of Harry Potter, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more captivating content. Until next time.